All right, another quick video. This one's just kind of showing my way that I use Scalar. Um, and it's not different than anybody else really, but it's just my little version of it, I guess. So this is a collage of kind of jazzy chords. And in, in, uh, this is the major and this is the minor of it, right? I mean, the major right there is sorry here. <laughs> And the minor is the E flat, but it's in F Dorian. So you could pick a scale or pick chords, whatever you do. And since there's a lot of chords in here, I'm not gonna use every chord. I'm just gonna play around till I find the chords that I want. And so this is kind of what I did was I just started playing stuff. Turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. Okay, so then once I hear the chords I want after I've already picked my sound, so I'm using uh, Omnisphere. Where is Omnisphere? Let me pull it up. Just show you this real quick. I tweaked the sound in here because I didn't like the. There was an echo. I think there was an echo on one of these uh, things, or maybe not. I can't remember. But anyway, I picked the sound I like. Dreamstick Piano Two. <laughs> kind of sounds like a yeah like a guitar type vibe but then it has this piano portion in it mixed together anyway I like it so I picked it um, and then I went through back to scalar picked the chord so I ended up picking these chords down here which I'll just move this down now that you see and this is what I ended up with So I have two, basically two turnaround chords. These are my two turnaround chords. So it's a three chord song with two turnarounds. That's how I look at it at least. So this is what I played pattern wise. And I'll let you hear it. Actually, I have to play it by itself. There you go. I'll take this off so you can hear it. So it's the same chords, but what I did was a technique I, t I tend to use is I wanted to feel like I actually really physically sitting here playing it. So there's a couple things you can do. You can use the human eyes and just turn on the velocity and then it'll sound like. And that works on some instruments. On some though, it can sound a little, sometimes on the roads, it can get real wonky. I, I don't like it as much. So. I may end up using, like manually doing it or using the um, whatever DOM. And in this case, I usually in Ableton, right? So I'll use Ableton and then I can randomize how they fit a little bit and, and draw them a little closer. That's a little more work, but it just depends on the instrument. But check this out. So, so I'm using the turnaround. And what I did was I turned, used the turnaround differently on the four and differently on the eight, right? Just so it varies a little bit so I can have an eight bar and it sound a little different even though I'm technically using the same chords. But a lot of it has to do with the rhythm. So I play that twice, right? You can sort of see, here's my mouse moving. You can see right here, follow us down here. So you don't, let me zoom in and see if I can get you a little closer to here. So I'll go like, and then the second time I may stretch it out or something, add an extra hit. So you'll see, let me pull it up here. Here's the MIDI notes here. You can see at the end, see how the turnaround here is different from the turnaround here. It's just a rhythm thing. So actually when I got to this part, I was just more like, I 
I played these chord last four chords over here. So you double right there, and then the four chord, last four chords, I just played them a little faster. So the switch up, it sometimes can create the, even though you can see it's the same four chords here, it's just the way I, how I held them a lot shorter so that it sounds like it's played a little different. Just, but it's the same thing. So use your rhythm and change up the way you play it. Um, and a lot of times for me, that is having the drums first, which is what I did. I did the drums first. That way I have something to play off of. which I use Scalar 2 to help. So you can use Scalar uh, to help you with the melody by locking either in the key or the um, scale rather, or um, as I showed in the previous video too, if you learn the scale, which is even better, then you can um, just sit there and play it yourself, obviously. So watch. percent feedback of a one-fourth delay is synced so it sounds okay it's not I mean this isn't my best I probably could do better but it's just the idea of how to how the workflow is so this is more about the workflow and using scalar um, you're gonna have to figure out what yours is and this is just mine and works for me all right so that's it for this video next one i did promise the next one i would show you something in scalar that's a little different this is more about the workflow though all right